and welcome back folks it is a gorgeous uh, April day like it's like April 4th something like that and I think the temperature is probably in the upper 40s right now the Sun is shining there's practically zero wind these waves behind me are from a boat that just went by a minute ago the lake is pretty much flat there is not a cloud in the sky bluebird skies and if I was a gambling man which I am not I would probably place a hefty wager that today is not a good day to be catching lots of catfish today's bait is shad from the freezer gizzard shad it's been in the freezer all winter it's not vacuum sealed or anything just uh, Squeeze as much air as I can get out and uh, put it in the freezer. Seems to work okay. So yeah, just some simple catfishing. Sinker on a slide, swivel down to a uh, four-aught hook and a chunk of uh, frozen gizzard shad. It is nice to not have wind been fighting with the wind a lot this spring but uh, a lot of times it's helpful with fishing too plunk yeah if I have a successful day of fishing today I'm I'm gonna say it's probably against the odds But it sure is a beautiful day to be out here sitting on the lakeshore. Yeah, the barometric pressure is 29.98, so that's not that high. It's less than 30, so I kind of got that going for me. Really, the only downsides I think of today is the bluebird skies and the lack of any wind. But I think a couple things that I do have going for me today is that it's early spring. The fish are just starting to kind of come out of their winter slumber, so. Uh, they're they're out they're gonna be out looking for something to eat it's not been a long winter for them too I'm sure and also since it's early in the season the water's still real cold there's hardly any boat traffic out here on this lake Mo most of the time all summer long once the water warms up this lake is just a raging torrent just a mess the boat traffic just tears it up all summer long but uh, right now you know the fish can probably move around without getting uh, you know scared by by boats and jet skis and stuff like that so they might be moving around well what do I know I'm no expert I'm just a guy that likes to fish just trying to learn like everybody else getting a bite here Little jingle jingle. And we've got our first fish on the line here, folks. And I have a mouthful of sunflower seeds. Sorry about that if I sound funny. I don't I haven't been here very long. Yeah, I've only been here uh, I'm guessing 20 minutes maybe since I put the baits in the water. This feels like a real good fish cold water so they're not going to fight it doesn't even matter if it's a trophy size they're not going to fight very hard but this feels like a good fish it's just a super tentative bite just just a little I thought you know maybe it was like a little perch or white bass or something pecking at my line oh it's a cat it's a good one too I am keeping fish today, as long as they're eater size. Get in here, gotcha. And that is an eater size. Well, what do I know? Talking about how it's a terrible day to target catfish. And looky here. Grab a weight real quick. I'm gonna guess seven. Nine pounds, nine ounces with the net, huh? Well, first fish of the day. 
probably about a eight pound fish, eight and a half pound fish, something like that. Good looking fish. Uh, haven't been here very long, um, half hour at the most. I don't know, surprise, surprise. Catching catfish against the odds today, I guess. It's kind of a young fish. I mean, the, the head's not very big and uh, compared to the body, big body, not a big head. Makes me think it's kind of a young fish. I think I'm gonna let this fish go today. It's really getting close to that uh, air limit where I uh, don't keep fish, you know. I like to let the big ones go, let them go out and breed. And you know, when you remove these big fish from the gene pool in a lake, they're not gonna they're not gonna make more catfish that are smart enough and have the right genetics to grow to good si to be good sized fish. If you if you harvest all the big fish all the time what you're going to end up with is a stunted population of fish and uh he's going back just hold him here let him get uh charged up a little bit i see people on youtube that'll pull a fish back and forth through the water like that and uh that actually does more harm than good. The gills, the gills are exit only. You know, the water needs to go in the mouth and out the gills for the fish to absorb oxygen. If you're forcing water up backwards up the gills, you're actually preventing them from... There you go. See ya. Yeah, if you do that, you're actually preventing them from absorbing oxygen. The best thing to do is just put their head in the water and just let them recuperate. Just another piece of shad going back out. I would like to keep some fish today if I can catch some smaller ones. And the wind did uh, start to pick up a little bit now. Just a, just a little while ago, I've got a little bit of a crosswind, maybe three to five miles an hour blowing across this way. I'm getting a bite already. I just cast this one out. on this is the same rod that I caught that first fish on I just cast it out literally like two minutes ago swimming at me swimming at me oh now he's not <laughs> I felt the tail hit the line don't felt it again he's oh now he's swimming at me again <laughs> another big cat I was gonna get the net cam put on the net but I haven't had time get, get in there gotcha that's a little smaller fish that's more like the ones I like to keep Yeah, fish too. This is a better eater size. Four or five pounds is my guess. Good looking female channel cat. Getting a quick bite today. Tits two fish in the first uh, probably 30, 40 minutes. So this one's going on the stringer. Well, surprise, surprise, surprise. That was one of the guys on the Andy Griffith show used to say that, didn't he? Surprise, surprise, surprise. Well, the wind has picked up even more now, which is good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mm-hmm. This is incredible. All the fish today, all three of them, have come on this same rod, same middle rod. I've had bites on both the other ones, but surprise, surprise, surprise. Show yourself. This one's really digging deep. Show yourself. Yeah, that's 
another great eater sized cat. What a great day. I was just about to put another jacket on because the wind's kind of picking up a little bit. Getting kind of cold. All right, fish three. Another great eater sized fish. Four or five pounds. Just perfect. Good looking fish. Got a little cut on the underbelly there. Must have cut himself on a rock during the fight. Lots of sharp rocks out there. I've had my line cut off by those rocks more than a few times on the stringer. Winner, winner, catfish dinner. This headpiece is uh, one of the first baits that I threw out. It's been out there about an hour, but uh, I just kind of put some extra cuts in it, you know, kind of squished it a little bit, squeezed a little bit of flavor, more flavor, more juices out of it, cast it back out there. Well, I didn't think my chances of catching any fish today were very good, but one thing I do know for sure is if I'd have stayed home, my chances of catching a fish would have been zero. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.